Um, but Patricia Busi is the Vice President of Social Economy Europe and Director of NCIA, the European Network of Social Integration Enterprises. So she's wearing two hats today uh, to give both the perspective of SEE and also of social enterprises from NCIA. So Patricia, can you briefly summarize some of the, your favorite ideas of what you've heard today and summarize maybe how Social Economy Europe can play an important role in the green transition and how your, your organization, NCIA, is also helping to do this? Yes. So first of all, thank you very much. Uh, thank you all for your contribution. Uh, really, really very interesting. Uh, as you know, I'm Patricia and I'm uh, in Italy, actually. I will intervene here as a uh, vice president of Social Economy Europe. And uh, I think the first two words about Social Economy Europe, uh, this organization representing 2.8 million of social economy enterprise and organization in Europe and 13.6 million workers, so around 80% of EU GDP, so very huge, and representing also social economy points at European level. We have a strategic uh, relationship with the European institution and in trying to represent all forms of social economy, from cooperative to mutual, association, and absolutely social enterprises. And uh, as a, a Social Economy Europe, we try to represent the interests of uh, our enterprise, also uh, having the secretariat of uh, uh, the Social Economy Intergroup in the European Parliament. Uh, Social Economy Europe has 16 members, and uh, every member uh, is composed by other members. And some of them uh, were uh, with us today. Uh, Social Economy Europe and social economy in reality has a, a massive added value uh, through a very different type of uh, uh, initiative that are uh, for the environment as a renewable energy cooperative, as we have heard, sustainable mobility solution, environmental education, healthcare and insurance at the service of the people. So the social economy also include a housing cooperative that have also themselves environmentally efficient housing model um, that are more affordable to people. And we have also heard uh, by Carol, ethical and sustainable finance organizations that can play a, a big role in the social economy um, since organization fitting the criteria of being ethical in the way uh, we conduct business with the right of the employee, gender equality, inclusion of vulnerable people in the market. And then for sure today I represent also NC. NC is the European Network uh, for Work Integration Social Enterprise. So social enterprise really targeting disadvantage group. Uh, we um, have uh, just uh, conducted a study called Impact Wise Study, in which it's clearly demonstrated that uh, WISEs in this case are really looking at the environment and are, in fact, as also reuse can demonstrate, very active in reuse, recycling, and repair activities. We are here uh, and we have heard many good examples of uh, uh, how social economy can be combined with environment. I, I will try to list uh, some of uh, the points raised today, perhaps not all, so already excuse myself for this, but we have heard this model of risk up for the energy community that can try to stay local. Uh, so these uh, uh, big business model with citizens uh, that are jointly owned and democratically control of the enterprise. Then we have uh, heard about uh, the, the transition, the just transition of uh, some enterprise also trying to uh, have a sustainable business, uh, business that uh, are not, for, for example, the one in the US, uh, link to social economy, but for sure linked to social economy uh, principle and that can work together in order to learn much more on how we can work in favor of the environment. Then we have uh, listened to uh, the good example of uh, social agriculture and now with agriculture 
can uh, disadvantage group can uh, be included again in the, in work and in the society society sorry then we have heard about uh, um it's staying to my mind that this uh, co2 emission calculator uh, from our colleague from spain uh, that uh, show how it's important to uh, recycle a product uh, also in order in order to save co2 emission we have heard about the management of water with the social economy principle in the different cities. This is really very, very innovative, especially for me. So we have heard plenty of good practice on how social economy can really be important uh, for the environment. What can be my last conclusion is that now we really need at European level in the European legislation, a link between a social and green. We really need the social economy is mainstream in the green deal and in the green uh, policy. As for example, the sustainable product initiative, the sustainable textile strategy, and all these strategies that are really linked to the environment, but need also to be linked to social. And for sure, we will need, because in this year, it's a crucial year for social economy with the action plan in November 2021. We really need also in this social economy action plan to have environment included, to have all this experience put in, uh, in a great value within the social economy action plan. So thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Nick, and thank you also, Julia and Riuza and all the participants. Thank you, Patricia, an amazing summary. And I just would like to add that we really enjoyed this conversation and I hope the public audience and the speakers as well. And uh, thanks, Patricia, for emphasizing the need to link social and green. And from my side, the main takeaway would be that also the just transition will not happen by default, but will require, as we have seen today, unified efforts from policymakers, researchers, public and private sector, and of course, engagement of our citizens. So once again, thanks a lot to the wonderful speakers and the audience, and I hand over to Nick. That's great. Uh, I just want to, to also say my huge thanks. Thanks from myself. Thanks from Social Economy Europe. Thank you to Reuse for uh, really helping us organize this, this fantastic event. I've learned so much and I really, uh, I really appreciate all the panelists who have taken their time and stayed with us throughout the entire event. I really, really appreciate it. And we've, we've heard from so many different areas of the social economy. We've heard from energy cooperatives. We've heard from uh, circular economy organizations. And we've heard from water cooperative. We've heard from associations like the WWF, uh, fantastic, which are not technically they're a part of the social economy, but they're not necessarily working in the social economy, but they've taken their time to pass on their message to us as well. And it's really fantastic. Um, so thank you to our audience as well for joining us. I'm really pleased with the number of people we've had. That's fantastic. And um, this video will be up on YouTube very soon. Um, and I'll share the YouTube link with all of the panelists and everybody. Uh, so thank you very much for all your participation and have a wonderful rest of your green week. <laughs>